welcome back. I hope your Thanksgiving uh, feast was uh, outstanding like mine was. This is sort of a, a, a day after video after doing a big turkey as to what to do with the carcass. And what I want to do today is make a nice uh, like poultry stock, turkey stock, whatever, that I'm going to uh, make from the uh, bones and the leftover meat from the, from the turkey. And I want to uh, turn it into a delicious stock that, the, that then you can portion and freeze and have uh, stock for, for weeks or months to come. So check this out. Step one, throw the carcass into the stock pot. What you see here is a 17 pound turkey in about a four gallon pot. Step two is to add some type of uh, vegetables. So I have about two cups worth of coarsely chopped celery, about another two cups worth of coarsely chopped carrots, and a whole coarsely chopped onion, as well as some herbs. So what I have here is some uh, fresh chopped rosemary from my garden. Actually, it's not even chopped, it's, it's just fresh picked. Uh, you could even use them, uh, leave the leaves on the stems if you'd like. So I'm going to dump a bunch of that in there. As well as a bunch of uh, thyme. This is dried thyme. I don't have any fresh thyme anymore. So I just throw maybe a couple tablespoons of, of dried thyme in there. And then uh, for one more herb I like to add is a couple bay leaves. Toss those in there. Now it's time to add water. So I'm going to add some water to this pot now. There we go. Just fill it up with just enough water to cover most of the carcass. Uh, the few pieces sticking out, you can just kind of shove back in or eventually they'll cook down and sink in. Um, so this is what I have here. So this is about a four gallon pot. I think I added probably about a good uh, two and a half gallons of water to this thing. Now turn on the heat. Get this thing up to a boil, but not to a full rolling boil. You want to just get it hot where it starts to bubble and then we'll turn the heat down to a simmer. It's close to a boil now. You can see the little bubbles starting to come up there. A little, a little bit of time here. I'm going to turn the heat down to a simmer. I'm going to give this thing a little stir too. And I'm going to let this simmer for at least a couple hours, maybe uh, maybe three or more hours. I'll keep an eye on it every hour or so and check on it. And we'll come back. Okay, it's been uh, just a little over three hours, about three hours and ten minutes. It's broken down real nice. Um, the bones have completely fallen apart. There's really no more structure to the rib cage. It's a bunch of pile of individual bones and um, you know bits of everything floating around in there. So um, it's reduced a bit. Um, maybe I uh, probably lost a half gallon to evaporation, maybe quarter gallon, and um, it tastes okay and it's good. I'm gonna turn off the heat, let it cool down, and uh, I'm going to uh, start. So now what I have here is I strain out the solids and separated the solids from the liquids here. So here's a smaller stock pot with the with mostly the liquid stuff and here's the original stock pot with the strainer I used to separate all the solids out. So what I'm going to do now is let this cool a little bit more and then I'm going to strain it into a, through a, a uh, even smaller strainer. Okay next step is to uh, separate the stock some more. I, what I have here is a fat separator with a mesh strainer on top which I'm going to use to remove some more of the uh, bigger particles or smaller bigger particles. Then I have a fat separator. I'm going to separate the fat out and I'm going to pour the stock into some little containers here. So you can kind of see here now, I got the little particles in there, extra stuff that I, I got to, that didn't get picked out from the first straining. And now it's also starting to separate down below here. Fat floating to the top, the stock hanging out down below. So I want to let this settle for about a half a minute or, or maybe a whole minute here. Okay, now the fat is separated to be on top here. You can, may not be able to see this little about quarter inch thick band of fat. So now I'm going to pour off the stock from underneath it into um, these containers here. go and the fat stays behind so I'm going to empty this out clean this out and uh, do a, a number of, of additional passes until I get all the stock into uh, containers and there we are um, that's all my stock well most of my stock I still have some in the kettle and I still have some in my uh, fat separator but I ran out of vessels so this is what I've got it's uh, a number of uh, pint and quart freezer um, freezable 
containers and along with a couple quart freezer packs. So uh, this is going to last be a good chunk of the winter. So it's definitely worth uh, making your own stock from that uh, turkey carcass because you're missing out on a lot of good stuff here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.